Can't you see that I'm preparing to go to... Shut the hell up. <coughs> Please, don't do... Just shut up or you're dead. Oh my god. Ashley, are you alright? Of course, I'm not alright. I have to continue working, and I have to forget what happened last night. Are you sure? You have to get some rest first. Don't tell me what to do, you idiot. Uh, uh, Ark. Oh god. Ashley, are you alright? Ashley? Ashley, can you hear me? Please say something. I am giving you a task. What task? The task is, you have to head to the Sanderson Brothers headquarters, pour petrol all over the building, and then set it on fire. You also have to destroy the medicines that Declan and Michael developed, and if Michael finds out about what we're talking about, we are in huge trouble. What do you mean I have to burn down the Sanderson Brothers headquarters? Lucas, listen. This is the only solution to end the Sanderson Brothers crisis because it's getting too much. Ashley, are you crazy? Why do you want Lucas to burn down the Sanderson Brothers headquarters and then destroy the medicines Declan and Michael have developed? I mean, don't you realize that this could make the crisis even worse? And? And what? Declan and Michael are psychopaths and if they find out about what we're talking about, I'll kill them. Hold on there. You haven't even been released yet and you have to remain in bed until you're fully recovered. And if Michael finds out about what you said to him, he'll retaliate. This is ridiculous. The Sanderson brothers have been provocating us ever since Sally has been poisoned. And if the crisis gets even worse, this would put our hospital in grave danger. Exactly. And we really have to stop talking about the Sanderson brothers because it's just too much. I mean wow guys, the fish tasted so good. It was delicious. Good thing we didn't eat a puffer fish. If we really did eat that, we would get poisoned. Exactly. But at least it was a good decision about going out fishing. This was the only way to spend our time. Just like when I found a fishing rod that hasn't been in use for a long time, but it still works. Absolutely. I wonder what we are going to be doing tomorrow? Well duh, it's the same thing. We can eat, watch TV, and other stuff. Yeah yeah yeah, I get it. So, what should we do now? Isn't that obvious? We can turn out the lights and then go to sleep. Absolutely. Alright come on guys, let's go to sleep. I don't know what we are going to be doing tomorrow but whatever. I mean wow guys. The wedding party was awesome. I know it was. It was such a brilliant experience that we can get to party around with my friends. And I'm also happy that Bob Legan and Fred finally got married. Exactly. In fact, we even got to meet with one of our friends, Mark, who lives in Los Colin. It's a shame that he didn't came to Castle Bush to visit us. I know the feeling, but I'm pretty sure Mark will travel to Castle Bush at least once. Totally. I don't know about Lauren and Michael though, but I guess they're waiting for me to go to work. After you finish breakfast, you can go to work. Absolutely. Alright, let's wait for the next customer to arrive. Oh, she's here. Hello mom, what can I get for you? Actually, I'm only here because of Bubblegum and Fred. Aren't they supposed to be working at Bubblegum's cafe today? Well they would, but they are spending their honeymoon in Los Golem right now, so they can't work today. Oh. In that case, can I have some raw pork chop please? Sure, here it is. Enjoy the meal. Thanks. Hey, welcome back Sally. I haven't seen you for a while. I have just been released and now I'm feeling a whole lot better. Yeah, but are you still suffering from a headache? It's all in the past. Fortunately I don't suffer a headache anymore because, it's gone. I have been cured of my headache and I was also fully recovered from the shooting. Wow, I didn't know you can survive the shooting while you were still treated. I mean, that's a miracle. Indeed it is. 
So how is everything going, like basically? Well Mia just told me that Ashley has been poisoned by Michael Sanderson who used one of his medicines to poison her and then lock her in a cage, but she got rescued by Lucas. I know that. Oliver and Lucas just told me about this, but I'm worried about what will happen to Ashley. Guy, calm down. Ashley will be fine, though I'm not sure when will she recover. But we'll hope that Ashley's condition could be stabilized so hopefully Michael won't commit a similar crime as recently. Forget it, try out some chicken. It's fresh and tasty. Wanna eat this? Sure. Why not? At least I'm not worried about being poisoned anymore. Exactly. Alright, here's the meal, and enjoy. Thanks. Great to see you again, Sally. I'm happy that you have been released. Exactly. I don't suffer a headache anymore and now I can get to live normally again. Totally. Alright, let's eat this chicken and then get back to work. Ah, good morning guys. Man, that wedding party was great. Wow, we are glad that you have attended our wedding party. It's nice that we can get to be friends. Exactly. Although we're a bit disappointed that you can't visit us at Castle Bush, at least we can get to meet you here. I know the feeling, but you can visit me at Los Golem at any time so we can chat. Good point. Alright, let's get up so we can eat. Alright, this is the pub where I have been working at. It doesn't have a colorful theme on this building, so it has an original one instead. That's okay. At least we came to visit here. No seriously the view from over there still looks amazing. We wish we could stay in Lost Golem for much longer. Yeah. We can do more everyday activities than here in Castle Bush. I mean, this city is amazing. No it is, but I think it's time to eat. What would you guys like to eat? Is there any bacon pancakes? Bacon pancakes? I have never heard of that food before. Well we usually eat bacon pancakes every day, and it tastes delicious. I agree, but unfortunately there aren't any bacon pancakes because, it's not on the menu. Oh. That's a shame. But I do have raw beef though. Wanna eat it? Sure. We are fine with that. Here you go then. Enjoy. Thanks. Where's Josh? I don't know. He hasn't been returning home since a couple of days ago. Don't tell me that Josh has secretly walked out of our house just so he could live with somebody else. Look, can you please just calm down? I'm pretty sure Josh wasn't kidnapped by a group of three strangers. Are you endangering my son's life? Huh? Are you trying to make my life shatter because of the fact that Josh would never come back home? Linda, listen. I have nothing to do with nor you, nor my son either. Ever since we lived with our children, Pixie and Josh, we always wanted to live a happy life. But after Pixie moved out, our lives have changed forever, and Pixie would never come back to live with us, but we still have our son Josh to live with us, but he hasn't been seen for days. Exactly, and I am also worried about my son's safety, and if he doesn't come back, there will be tragedy. Look, calm down. We have to get our son back before he gets into trouble. Come on, let's go. Oh god no 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 no. Somebody come here right now. Ashley's deteriorating. Oh god no 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 no. I knew that this would happen. Look can you please just do something? If we don't save Ashley's life, we'll lose her. Alright, god. Please stay back. Clear. Please check if she has a pulse. She has no pulse. I have to resuscitate her again. Clear. What's happening? I don't know, I think Ashley's deteriorating. She still has no pulse. I have to keep resuscitating her. Oliver please leave, we are concentrating on resuscitating Sally. Alright, clear. So? I got a pulse. I think Ashley's condition is starting to improve a little bit. Oh thank god. We nearly lost one of my colleagues. So, how's Ashley? Well her condition is beginning to improve a little bit and I have managed to resuscitate her. Thank god. We thought that Ashley would die. 
Mia, it's all right. Ashley will be fine and we'll hope that she will recover in a matter of days. Where's Finn? He is still away dealing with his personal life. I am not sure when will he arrive, but let's just wait here. Finally Finn, where have you been? Sorry guys, I just had to attend Bubblegum and Friends wedding party in Los Alam, but I'm here. So that's why you haven't been working at the police department last night. Exactly. So how are things going while I was away? We're still dealing with the Sanderson brothers case where we were told that another heart center hospital employee has been poisoned, but this time it was a paramedic who was poisoned in her home and then being locked up in a cage. Michael was responsible for committing the crime, though we failed to arrest him. Anything else? Well we don't have any more info, but we'll make sure to provide more information as soon as possible. Hello, I have to apologize for the interruption, but I only came here because of something. Alright, so what happened again? Is it about the Sanderson brothers case again? Well no, it's something else. A prison guard from Alaska Lean Prison just told me that one of Minecraft is most wanted criminals, Angelo Waldron, has escaped. And how did it happen, basically? According to one of the staff members of the prison, a CCTV footage was released where Angela was seen smashing down the backyard wall and then escaping prison. And has the suspect been caught yet? Well I'm afraid not, and we are concerned about what will Angela do. But we are working with everything we can to track down the suspect as soon as possible. So is this the house where Josh has been hiding? Maybe. I'm pretty sure he's in there. We need to ring the doorbell just to see if anybody is at home. Who is it? I guess it's another visitor, or maybe one of our friends, Dennis. I'll answer it. Oh, um, um, hi there. What are you two doing here? What have you done to our son? Huh? What did you do with him? Listen, I had nothing to do with your son. Josh walked into my house a few days ago and we talked to him about Pixie. Exactly. And you kidnapped him and you held him captive for days. That's stupid. I didn't even kidnap your son. He's fine. Then where is he? Cool, what's going on? I think I have been confronted by Josh's parents. What? My parents are here? I mean, how did they know I was here? Josh, we know you are in there. Please come out. Josh, we worried sick about you. I mean, we thought you're dead. Of course I'm not dead. I'm fine, I just had to go to Paul and Charlotte's house for a talk, that's all. So this is exactly why you walked out of our home. How could you do this to us by secretly leaving our home while we weren't realizing? I mean, how could you? And you, what do you have to say for yourselves? Listen, we've done nothing wrong. Josh decided to live with us for a few days because he couldn't handle living without his sister Pixie, so he came to our house because of this. Exactly. And you can't just falsely accuse us that we allegedly kidnapped your son because we didn't even kidnap him. Josh is our friend and we would never harm him. Totally. And if we ever see you trying to harm our son again, you two are going to get it. Is that understood? Finally Marceline, where have you been? Bemo and I were just eating pork chop while you were away. Guys, listen. We have to talk. Why, what happened? Did Bubblegum and Fred suffer an accident during their honeymoon? Well no, it's something else. Have you guys ever heard of a criminal known as Angelo Waldron? No, why? Who is he? He is the criminal who, according to the police, was responsible for blackmailing people, murdering them, and even stalking many women. I had to go to the police department to talk to Finn about Angelo. So why are we talking about Angelo again? Basically? Well Finn just told me that Angelo has escaped from prison where he destroyed the wall of a backyard and then making his escape. The prison where he had to serve his sentence was in Lost Golem. Wait a minute. That's where Bubblegum and Fred are spending their honeymoon. I really hope Angelo doesn't harm them or- Jake can you please just calm down already? Bubblegum and Fred are fine, though we are not sure about what Angelo is going to do. As I was saying, Angelo is being described as one of the most wanted criminals in Minecraft, and the police haven't arrested him since he escaped. Oh god no 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 no. 
I hope Angelo doesn't come up and then tries to harm one of us. If he does, we're- Guys, don't you realize that Angelo is one of the most dangerous criminals in Castle Bush? What are you talking about? Listen, Angelo keeps issuing out vicious warnings against any individual who threatens him first. If someone threatens Angelo, he'll threaten him in retaliation, but in a more aggressive and vicious manner. In fact, Angelo also warned us that, if we mess around with him, he could blow up the entire town.